Hey guys, so right now I'm fixing to show you my foundation routine. That means that I have nothing on this face right now. Isn't that just lovely? I'm gonna put my hair up. Okay, so I got my hair up out of my face. My foundation routine is very simple, I would say, um, compared to some things uh, that I've seen on YouTube, other beauty gurus, whatever, that do theirs. I have a couple products here that are what you would call high-end, I suppose, but um, most of the stuff I get is, uh, you know, stuff that's on the cheaper side, so I'm just trying to show you that you maybe don't need to spend that much to get a, you know, a nice foundation on your face. The first thing that I do when I'm putting on my face is, we're gonna get personal here guys, okay? To me, I have, in this lighting, I don't know if you can tell or not, but I feel like I have dark circles or whatever under my eyes, okay? And I also have some freckleage and some pimpleage here on my nose, you see that? Well, we're gonna conceal that. It's gonna go right away, okay? So, I actually have done a video on this concealer right here. It's Maybelline New York uh, concealer. Um, the color I get is fair, so it's like, you know, super duper light that's what I am. I just put some, I just dot it under my eyes like that and then there you go, you're ready to go out the door. Not really. So I do that and then I also put some right in there and this might be weird, I don't know if anybody else does this, but I do that. But anyways, I did make a whole separate video on um, how I used concealer and it's this concealer that I was using. I posted that uh, last year sometime. So if you want to go back and uh, see that and see exactly what I like to conceal, you can go watch that. I'll link it below. But anyways, that's about the general area that I like to conceal is right there. Unless I've got like some, you know, other pimples or something down here, or red spots that I'm wanting to cover up. But that's what I do. And then I just use this like little sponge guys so little spongebob's cousins and <laughs> I I don't really I don't wipe it really I like to just dab and kind of blend it in but once again you can see that on my other video that I did that I did about concealer This is just the one that I found that seems to match pretty well for me and I just really like it and it's um, pretty affordable. I want to say around five dollars or so. So yeah. So once I have everything concealed that, that I want to conceal, I, um, I bring out this bad boy. This right here is Clinique even better. Clinique is what I would call a high-end product, I suppose, because it's kind of expensive, and yeah. So this is what I do. I put some on this little guy right here, and that's all I use for my whole face. Is that weird? I don't really know how much you're supposed to use, but that's how much I use, typically, unless I'm really trying to cover something. This is what I usually do. I just dab it a little bit over my face. It's typically my nose and under my eyes that I really try to get the most coverage on just because um, it seems like that's the most discolored uh, portion of my face I believe so once I've get, got all that product off of this uh, dabbed on my face I usually um, I'll kind of kind of sort of blend it out or you know whatever 
with this little sponge. But then I usually switch to my hand and I'll just do this. And just kind of work it in. I've been told before that I'm not the most delicate <laughs> when it comes to uh, like putting stuff on my face or whatever. Because I'm like doing this and usually they're like, oh, you have to be so gentle, so gentle. But I don't know. I just don't do that. So yeah, that's what works for me. And once again, I am no expert. I'm just showing you guys what I do because it works for me. So yeah, we're just getting that all blended in there. And I like to... I don't necessarily put foundation down my neck this far, but I do like to um, kind of do this and just kind of make sure it's blended in. There's not like a blunt like line on my uh, chin there because, yeah, no, nobody likes to see a makeup line. And then I just really try to make sure I get it blended in, you know, with my hairline and everything. Because once again, I don't want to have any lines. That is usually what I do to my face, so that was your concealer and your face foundation. Then I like to finish it off. Yeah, we're basically finished. That's like almost all that I do to my face. Uh, so yeah. I also have this Clinique, uh, what's it called? Uh, it's just a blended face powder. And this is the invisible blend, so it isn't colored. Um, when you put it on the brush, it looks like it has a color to it, but um, supposedly it doesn't have a color. It's just supposed to like kind of give you a, um, I don't know what you'd call it, a nice matte finish. <laughs> My skin tends to be oily, so it likes to, you know, kind of lose that matte look throughout the day, so. So that's the foundation part of my face. I don't always use blush, but when I do, <laughs> that makes me think of those, those memes on the internet with the little, the guy and the, I don't always do this, but when I do, okay, you know what I'm talking about. I have this Clinique, um, it's just a nice pink color for the blushes, you know. And once again, I don't really know exactly what I'm doing with blush, but what I do is I do this. And I do that. I just kind of dab, dab, dab. And that is what I do, okay? In the summertime, I like to use a bronzer very li very lightly I'll just kind of you know use this brush which I never mentioned this this brush is nothing fancy it is from Rue 21 <laughs> which is you're probably thinking what but it came in a little beauty kit thing that I bought there one time because it was on sale and this is like the only brush like this that I have and it seems to do pretty good but once again I've never really had an expensive brush uh, so this is just what I've always known, and it does a fairly good job, I would say. That is my finished face, and, you know, it's nothing crazy, like I said. It's just, um, like I've said before, I'm trying to go for a natural look, so I'm just trying to cover up, you know, my some under eye stuff and some redness on my cheeks, freckles. Uh, yeah, so that's what I'm trying to cover. So... Can you guys tell a difference um, from the beginning? Hopefully you can. <laughs> this has already turned out to be a longer video than I expected it to be, so um, I'm actually going to do a separate video on the rest of my face. Like, my eyes is basically all I'm going to do. <laughs> but um, I'll show you guys how I do that in my eyebrows. And yeah, so stay tuned for that video. I hope you guys like this video, and I hope it was helpful. Um, for maybe some of you out there that are beginners with, uh, like, foundations or whatever. Because I'm still a beginner. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, I encourage you to do so. So you'll never miss out when I put out a new video. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye!
got an email. Ooh.